I need a stallion, these be on Megan. I need a scissor, cut her like paper. I need a cougar, ways of the taper. Yeah. I need a Georgia, need a Janae. I need more money to come to my place. I want a Doja, K by the pound. I need a Lizzo to put that shit down. I need a Ari, let me serenade. Walking out of summer, so far. What's up, Tree Beauty fam? And welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is gonna be one that was actually chosen by you guys. On my Instagram, I have posted a poll and I asked if you would rather see my makeup favorites or my sneaker collection. And I think 100% of y'all voted for sneaker collection. So that's what I'm doing today. But before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, join the True Beauty family. Let's get right into it. Just a little um, FYI. Uh, some of my sneakers do have to be cleaned, I'm well aware, so please don't leave any nasty or mean comments talking about, oh your shoes are dirty, your shoes ain't crispy, da da da, don't do that, cause you will be blocked, and that's on P, don't do that, that's mad disrespectful, so the first pair that I'm gonna show you, show, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> the first pair that I'm gonna show you guys is my Fila Disruptor 2s with the sock in them. I love these sneakers so much. I don't know why, like at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people, these shoes are so ugly. Like the clunky dad shoe trend, I was not on that trend whatsoever. I thought those shoes were ugly and then these came out and I was like, Fila, y'all might have just did something. Cause these were so cute and like the in like the sock trend was the thing like wearing these kind of socks um was in but Fila had them with the attached sock so I'm like now I don't gotta search for socks cause okay first of all I don't even have that many socks so I don't even know why like I'm dragging it right now but um I didn't have socks like these so I'm like these were already so cute to me, but I couldn't find them anywhere. And then I went to DSW and I found these and I was like, yo, it's fucking like, let's go. And then, um, yeah, the rest is history. I started wearing them all the time. These became my everyday sneaker. And yeah, that's basically it. I love them. They're super comfortable though. And every time somebody's like, yo, these sneakers are so ugly. Why are they so big? Da -da -da. Shut up. Just mind your business. People like what they like. So, mind your business. Now we're gonna move on to the second pair of shoes. The second pair of shoes are some Fila Disruptor 2s. These came out during Christmas time, and these are the burgundy ones. I got these for my birthday last year or two years, no. Yeah, last year or two years ago, one of those two. Um, I don't wear these that often, because these are more of like a winter shoe, um, being that they are like a velveteen, like, yeah, they're like a velveteen burgundy fabric. These are more fall winter, so I don't wear these. That's why these are basically clean on the bottom. Um, they're also a size 7, so I do wear them with my thicker socks. Um, wait, obviously, because these are more like a winter shoe, um, being that they came out in that time. I also wanted to get the, um, I think they came out with like a gray color, but it was like a blue tone gray, and it, they were so pretty, so, so cute. So... Yeah, again, love those sneakers, super comfortable to walk in. Um, uh, I forgot to, should I put the price in here? I'm gonna just put the prices in here. So the first pair of um, feelers that I showed were 65, and then I think the Velveteen ones were um, 75. Uh, we're gonna move along because I don't have that much time left on my SD card, and I talk a lot, so. Yeah, I'm gonna show you another pair of Fila's, um, so just give me... Okay, so these Fila's that I'm showing you guys, these go more along with the dad shoe trend, but these are so cute, and I mostly wear them with, like, when I have, like, when I want to do, like, monochromatic outfits, um, with the nudes, um, that's why sometimes, uh, I go for, like, nude sweatpants and stuff, because I love the way, like, the nude monochrome looks so these are the Fila Ray Tracers and it's just nude and it has navy on the um on the back and 
on the tongue and also the laces are navy and white um and yeah that's it i just love them i think they're so cute these are also really comfortable they have like a really cushiony insole um which i'm here for i don't know why this started for me but my feet have been starting to hurt really bad when um I'm walking for periods of time. I don't know why that is. Um, it's weird. It doesn't happen so much now. Um, but I don't know, like a couple years ago, my feet started to hurt so bad and I had to look for um, sneakers with more support. But um, yeah, I don't know what, why that was. Um, but they're fine now. Like I can walk for like a couple hours and be fine. But, um, y'all didn't really care about that, so <laughs> I'm going to move on to my Nikes and Jordans, um, which is probably what y'all are really wanting to see, um, being that um, they're the more popular shoe. So I'm going to start with these 11s. I freaking love these. My boyfriend got them for me, oh my gosh, I think like three years ago, four years ago. I have to check the date. Um... But yeah, these 11s, I freaking love these. He does not really like 11s, but I love 11s. I like how they look on my feet. Some Jordans, I feel like they do not fit my feet at all. Um, yeah, that's it. I just feel like some of them don't fit my feet at all, but 11s fit small feet so well. They don't look clunky or anything. They just look so cute. Um, he accidentally bought me a 6. I am a size 6 in women's and a 4.5 in youth slash boys, so he bought me a size 6 in these, um, but surprisingly they fit. Um, I guess these were cut smaller than other shoes, but um, yeah, these fit fine. Again, super comfortable, really cushiony insole. Um, I do wear them a lot, I do have to clean them, but I was carrying all my shoe boxes upstairs from downstairs. I got makeup on the laces. They already have to be clean, and I'm gonna get the creases out. There's a whole bunch of videos on how to get the creases out of these sneakers, so I'm going to be doing that um, with these. And yeah, that that's it. Um, moving on to the next pair. These are the I don't know. I would say wheat or flax, um, whatever y'all want to call it. What is your mother called? Right, they're called the Flax slash Outdoor Green. They're the wheat ones. Um, these are highs. Yeah, these are highs. These are size four. Um, these fit me better than because I have a pair of white ones too, and I think those are the mids. I think I have the mid. Um, white Air Force ones but um these fit a little bit better these are a little more comfortable for me to wear um I don't know why that is anybody who owns a pair of mid ones let me know if that was the case for y'all I don't wear them that often so that also could be a factor because you know they're white and you know you gotta keep the white ones crisp you know they gotta look they gotta be looking nice right they gotta be looking like the first day you bought them. If you don't keep them fresh, it's like, what are you doing? Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, those are my favorite, favorite sneakers. These were, I think I got these for Christmas. Yeah, at least for Christmas, um, the year they came out. Um, and yeah, everybody I'm sure has a pair of those. If not, you should look for them and get them because they go with literally everything, and you can dress them up or dress them down. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how I style my sneakers, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I will also put a poll up on my Instagram, uh, just checking if you guys would like to see that. Because um, I'm not going to do it if like it's not going to be engaged with. Because like my views have been like up and down, and I saw that 78% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, 
um, so that way you're notified when I post a video. I know sometimes the notifications, like, they turn off for you. So if you have to click the bell and put for all notifications, do that. Um, if you're not getting my notifications anymore, you're barely getting notified when I post a video. Um, just make sure you do that so that my post, you guys see it. And that way the video can be engaged with. And, yeah. Next pair of shoes are these Vapor Maxes. I'm sure y'all can tell. Nude is one of my favorite colors. These. The hell? Where did that come from? Okay, anyways, these are a four and a half because these are a men's shoe. Um, I love them. They add a little bit of height. Like, I feel like, but it feels like nothing's on my feet. Like, because the bottom is so thick, they do add a little bit of height. Um, like, when I take them off, I literally feel myself, like, shrink back down. I'm not that tall. I'm only 5 feet. I've mentioned this before in a couple other videos. But just in case you're new to my channel, I'm only 5 feet. Um, as of right now, I weigh 180-something pounds. Um, yeah. As of right now, I weigh 180-something pounds. And I wear a size 4.5 in men slash kids. And I wear a 6 in women's. Um, and yeah, but these I love. These are so cute, super comfortable. Again, they go with everything that I wear. If you would like to see how I style them, let me know. And yeah. Next shoe. I'm saving like my favorite, favorite, favorite for last because I freaking love these. So the next shoe that I'm going to show you guys, again, my boyfriend bought for me. He bought them for me for, um our anniversary one year we celebrate our anniversary every month like we tell each other loud we tell each other happy anniversary on the 17th of every month um our actual anniversary is like our yearly anniversary is may 17th um and he got these for one of our monthly um anniversaries these are so cute and they match my shirt oh my gosh i finally have an outfit for these I never could find like the right pinky nude to match these, but now I have a shirt that matches them. This is this is such a cute, this would be such a cute fit. The only thing with these is sometimes I feel like they look kind of big on my foot. Um, I think these are 12s, are these 12s? I'm pretty sure these are 12s. Yeah, pretty sure these are 12s. Um, and these were a woman's shoe that came out. Oh my god, how long was it that came out? I think they came out like three years ago. I could be wrong about that. If I got any sneakerheads watching this video, leave it in the comments down below because my memory is trash. I do not remember when this came out. Um, but if you know all the details on this sneaker, let me know um, in the comments down below. But I love these. I thought these are so cute. This is one of my favorite colors too. I love like this pinky nude peachy nude shade and I feel like it looks really good on my skin tone um I don't wear these that much being that these are exp so expensive because these shoes I think were like 250 or 290 either way almost $300 and I'm sure with tax if these were tax it brought it up to $300 but I honestly have the best boyfriend in the whole world and I'm not saying that because like of the material things that he buys me but like Literally anything I want, he buys. Like, I don't even ask him. I just say, oh, I want these. I'm going to get these. Like, anything that, like, is super expensive. I always say, you know, I'm just going to save up. I'm going to buy it with my own money. And sometimes he just surprises me with it. Like, I never know when he's going to, like, buy things for me. Like, for my birthday this year, he bought me a Michael Kors bag. I was not expecting him to buy me this Michael Kors bag. Because this came out, I think, last year for Pride. This bag was so cute. I saw it on social media. Um, I saw it on Twitter and everybody's like, this bag is ugly and oh, it's Michael Kors and if your boyfriend buys you Michael Kors, he, he's trash and he doesn't love you and da da And I'm like, Michael Kors is a luxury brand. Like, y'all are weird. I understand it's like more a lower end luxury brand because like the stuff isn't that expensive but it's still expensive um, and it could be out of reach for those 
um, can't afford it. But like, to say that someone's significant other doesn't love them because they buy them Michael Kors, like, are y'all okay? Like, and I, I know some of y'all remember that because like people were dragging, they were dragging Michael Kors on Twitter, like dragging. But anyways, <laughs> we're not talking about my Michael Kors bag, we're talking about my sneakers. So the last pair, I bought these with my own money and I'm very happy with it. Oh, I grabbed the wrong sneakers! Please hold me. Grabbed my cousin's sneakers, um, cause she had ordered them and just left them here, so. I accidentally picked up, cause she has a shattered backboards. I want those. I don't have the money for them right now, but I want those so bad. Anyways. I was so freaking happy when I got these sneakers. My sister did not like them in the pictures, but she said they looked better in person. Um, which I agree with a little bit. These weren't photographed the best, but they are so freaking cute. And I got these laces with them. And they came with a pair of red laces and a pair of white laces. But I do love these laces so much. I am going to have to switch them out since I love them so much. And I wear these all the freaking time. Because they just match everything. Um, in case you don't know, these are the um, Bloodline ones. Sorry, I just ran up the stairs. So, I'm sorry I'm, I'm a little out of breath. So, yeah. Um... I just freaking love these and they're super comfortable. I wore them for the first time on my boyfriend and I's anniversary date. Um, we went on a date I think in... I have pictures from it. So I will just look at the pictures and I'll tell y'all the date we went out. Um, but we went to a um, Korean barbecue restaurant um, called Let's Meet. I had been wanting to go there for so long. So um, we finally went and that's all the sneakers I have to show you today. There was a couple more pairs that I have to show you guys, but they're underneath my couch, so I couldn't get them out. But they are the, um, I think French blue, um, 12s. I'll leave a picture of them in the video, but I have those. I got those off of eBay. I do, um, have to clean them up some more. Um, I did have to repaint over some of the parts because they got scuffed. Um... Which they didn't look like that in the picture, so I'm basically, I guess you could say re-upping them, re-upping them myself. Um, but yeah, these are the sneakers that I had to show you guys right now. Um, if I get more sneakers, I will do an updated sneaker collection if y'all saying that if you guys want to see um, how I style the sneakers, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, I'll leave a poll. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. I'm stressing that you guys subscribe because 78% is a lot. If you keep coming back to my channel and you like my videos, please just subscribe. Like, become part of the Tribute eh, Become part of the Tribute Family. We would be happy to have you. You are definitely welcome to stay if you would like to. I need the audience to follow the account. <laughs> And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night or morning, whatever time you're watching this video. I haven't said that in so long. Um, but I do hope you guys have a great day, especially since we're in quarantine. Um, I'm my my DMs are open to talk if y'all would like to talk. And yeah, I love you all so much. Bye!